One of the joys I get every time I teach this class is that pure liberal arts experience. And we get to do that every day in this class. When I came into Carleton, didn't really know what a liberal arts experience was. And this course has been a very nice opening to me to that interdisciplinary idea. Right now I'm taking CS232, Art, Interactivity, and Microcontrollers. The scope of this class is a little different than probably any of the CS courses or any of the studio art courses at Carleton. It's a course that combines both art and creativity as well as technology and algorithms and so on. The structure of the course is based around the curriculum of a sculpture course into which we've added in the microcontrollers. What's really focused on is that unifying concept of using CS as a tool to create this interactive thing. From my perspective, I teach computer science, which is a technical field, but getting a chance to have our students be involved in building creative things and using those skills is absolutely fantastic. This class has made me like fall in love with the idea of interaction so much more. Every single thing you build is an exchange of information. It's really teaching me like how important that step-by-step -step process is, which has really been helping my coding. I think what they're learning is more troubleshooting than they are advanced deep coding. And that kind of iterative problem solving is something that is super practical across many, many disciplines. This class gave me the opportunity to do some things that I hadn't even thought of doing before. When you see a student do something that they initially didn't think they had the power to do, that's an amazing thing. This art project has helped me, honestly, more than I thought it would. In the field of computing, we've got a lot of students who have lots of different goals in terms of what they want to do. Something like this isn't something that many of them think about. They can think about how to bring the broader computing ideas, algorithmic thinking, just to point out that there's lots of different ways of utilizing those ideas. And this really opens that wide up for some of them that many of them never considered before.